the hermit. Well, the name here speaks for itself. Wisdom, solitude, self-sufficiency. These people are really, really wise, just born this way. They have deep connection with the philosophy of life. They know answers to life. Very important for them to go deep, to learn, and they can actually go um, and learn things into, into such a deep level that not everyone can. And the moment of solitude uh, is very important for them as well because this is where they recharge. Like it's natural for people with this energy uh, to recharge while they're alone and they always enjoy their uh, own company, they enjoy the time with themselves. You want to know how to enjoy your solitude, but at the same time, you don't close off yourself from the world. It has to be balanced there. You go into solitude, solitude for a reason. You go there to deep, to, to learn, to create something. But then you come out and you bring that knowledge, your creation to the world. You want to go to the world. You want to try to open your heart as much as you can to the world. You want to speak your wisdom, speak your truth, go deep uh, with things, learn them, but then next step is to bring all of that knowledge all of that creation to the world so it doesn't just like go to nowhere and um, people with this energy are just such a natural philosophers they are really wise beyond their years even at the young age in positive people will want to come for advice to you they will sense your wisdom and uh, they will ask your questions about life and um, sense that you are a great advisor but very often people with this energy they tend to close themselves off from the world uh, or they sort of self-sabotage themselves they feel like they are not smart enough yet uh, to share the knowledge or they take one million trillion courses and they still feel like I need to take another one before I um, you know I'm good enough to share so they sometimes have a feeling that they're they don't believe uh, in themselves or that they don't believe that they are ready yet to share with the world uh, so if you have that and you have that energy try to break through that try to understand that uh, anyone um, that there is always going to be of course someone who is, who has more knowledge than you do uh, but also there is a lot of people that have that don't have the knowledge that you that you have and it's important for someone to do the work and share it and that's you insecurities and lack of belief in yourself or sometimes it's actually the opposite they might think that um, you know they're smarter than anyone else and that's the other side of the ego when uh, you don't want to share the knowledge because you think like ah like not anyone is smart and no one is smart enough you know so you want to keep that energy in balance you want to uh, make sure that you yourself uh, are learning that you yourself do not go into a trap of like I know everything I shouldn't be uh, I don't need to learn anything um, and that you don't trap into the ego um, on either side of not believing in yourself or th thinking you're like not smart enough yet you don't know enough yet and not uh, into the other side of that that you are um, too smart and you know it all so uh, you are a very intellectual person you have um, great intellectual um, potential so 
I would say that it's not so much recommended for this energy to work, um, to do any physical work because you will be way better with any intellectual work. Anything that requires your brain <laughs> to be active. Go deep, learn about the world, find your answers and share that wisdom with the world. That's why you're here.